you know what I can say, this tripod does look at it. I'm going to meet my friend over at the court and yeah, I'm blogging today. because I've been actually really quickly get ready because um, apparently um, I just got a phone call from my friend saying that police turned up to escort her which is not what she was told and she's panicking so I'm going out my hair's really straight today uh, I'm gonna film part of this, the rest of this video later on this is the room you get a nice TV oh this your window's huge thank you look, look, look at all the window I always have plants. I like Alice's plants. Got it like could, more further out. Yeah. My lens won't zoom any further out. If I do manual stuff, will it work better? Can we just appreciate the struggle we're having, Alice? Struggles. Yeah. And now we're using it. We, I'm borrowing Alice's tripod. There. Does that work? That way. Let's turn around. <coughs> Rot I'm cold. There we go. It's actually recording them. Might have to sort of focus out again though. Electric convulse isn't isn't as controversial as people think it is. No. But I guess if you were if you were like there's you, so like, many like, things you've tried. Like when you've tried it, I've been on every antidepressant now, including the one on one. Like, there is no more I can try. I've oh, been on every single one. Really? Old generation, new generation, new released. Um there are, after this one, if this one doesn't were um, I'm doing quotation marks just because I've been on it before. There is no more medication to try that's antidepressant. How many are, how many are there? Oh god, there's a long list. Have uh, you tried that many? I've been on medication for like five years. Yeah. None, not many of them have worked. I had really bad reactions to most of them. How do you think people should change their attitudes towards mental health and how do you how do you think they, they could improve the mental health system how just wait up and better understanding honestly better understanding could go a mile because i know like a lot of my family funnily enough are a bit like oh well you can just go for runs you'll be fine exercise eat healthier i'm like yeah that can help but it's not gonna cure like fucking ptsd or anything is it i think people need a better understanding to open their eyes and to not say mental illness has an age why are fireworks going off? It's not even dark. <laughs> if it was dark, I'd understand. Because it's kind of Halloween. Happy Halloween, by the way. Oh, yeah. Which presents you with an imaginary pumpkin. Did you enjoy the pumpkin? <laughs> Controversial, a bit. Controversial? We were what? talking about asylums and psych wars being similar. I, but I also think it goes along with the understanding, because understanding has changed a lot. Because like on brain scans, mental illnesses can have certain effects on brain patterns yeah. when they're done on scans. And a lot of research was done into it all, like when all the technology came out. So obviously understanding's got better, so the treatment's changed. Back then that was seen as the best form of treat treatment for. With what they had at the time, it does kind of make sense a bit. I don't agree with what they did to people, but given the lack of understanding, lack of information, lack of technology back then, they did the best they could essentially. Some of them no, some of them was genuinely abusive towards people. But the thing is like, obviously there's some abusive ones and some not. It's the same with hospitals nowadays, and I hate the fact I'm about to make this comparison, but take Michelle for instance, right. like with her experience, obviously she got abused in hospitals a lot of times, Yeah, and I haven't. Yeah. Two very different experiences. I know plenty of people who haven't had that experience. I mean, there's but... always going to be differences. It just depends on the staffing. It depends on the area. But I was saying earlier, like with the medication things they do, I think they should have a definitive diagnosis confirmed by at least two or more people <laughs> before they decide to start forcing medication onto people. Because, like I said, when you're under the Mental Health Act, I don't know how it works in America, but under the Mental Health Act on Section Two, Three, Thirty Seven and all of that jazz i'm not gonna list all of them because i'll be here forever there's so many like s they can do anything you don't have rights you have a right to appeal yeah. and so many people get misdiagnosed as bpd then bipolar later for me it was the other way around i got diagnosed bipolar first then bpd and bipolar now it's just bpd my diagnosis has changed so much the last two years what would your advice be to maybe someone that doesn't have any like mental illness or any like patience. doesn't struggle with any of that but patience. knows someone have patience yeah, like patience and just be like don't treat people differently i know this annoys this annoys me it annoys a lot of people don't treat them like they're ill like, if you treat depressed it's like oh you'll be okay soon it's like if it one it's dehumanizing of it it's horrible you just want to treat like everyone else like it's not a taboo thing it's not a big deal it's 
is what it is. Or if like you know someone like just researching on the subject a bit. Obviously like the internet doesn't have all the answers because everything's different to everyone but I'd definitely say like research. <gasps> Oh, my brain's gone blank. I have to switch cameras in a minute. So you want people to like look into it? I think people should just research. I think it should be a compulsory thing in school. Like, I'm gonna go play with a Ouija board now, and I just realised I've been looking at the viewfinder the entire oh, I, time. Oh, I did. I do that a lot. Anyway, Lighting. sorry guys. I'm, I'll be back later. I'm gonna hit you with a hairbrush. I, I missed. There we go. That's a good vlog clip. <laughs> Guys, after failing with a Ouija board, we're watching a Ouija board. What else would we do? Let's be real. What would we do? Ugh, it's raining. I'm on the way to the train station. I hate, I hate, 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 hate being in Preston. I hate being in I can't wait to get out of here. It was great seeing Alice. It was great hanging out with people. Um, no. Uh, no. I need to get out of here. I'm having a really good body in this day though. That's what I was saying this morning before I had to quickly run out to go to see my friend. <laughs> Welcome on board Virgin Train. We'll be travelling to London Euston. Calling at Nuneaton. Watford Junction. Hello, I'm Mootie. Literally, I've never been. I just thought I'm supposed to be out. I don't know. I don't know. I am going to go there because this train is really hard. Good evening, all you can see that. Back when all this shit kicked off, I made a deal that I wasn't going to make a video talking about it. After breaking down on the underpants, I'm sick of being fucked over by people. I'm making this because you know what? I've been fucked over one too many times by people and I'm sick of trusting people and getting thrown in my face. I've got fucked over today, massively. I can't even say. The last two years by somebody who I thought I could trust. Who essentially is the reason I got kicked out of you clan. Is the reason for everything. <laughs> I'm at this point done trying to of people fucking me over. I'm gonna make the full video for this tomorrow because I can't be asked to do it now. It's the 31st of October. I'm pissed off. I'm and my solicitor has already had an email. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go wipe the rest of my makeup off my face because I've been crying for the last hour on a train and on the underground. Cause you know, attractive as fuck. Um, I spend a lot of time crying, guys. I feel a lot better today. Um, I'm still feeling very down, but very irritated. Mainly because I got an email from UCLan yesterday and I didn't check it until I was on the train because I didn't have it, didn't really, I was with people, you know? I wrote UCLan an email asking what went on, why did they suspend my studies, what, trying to get an explanation. And I found out that one of my close friends is the sole reason behind it all. I've plopped her on Facebook, I'm, I'm done. And the person was Alice, and you saw Alice in this video, and I'm keeping that in because it's a good memory. It was a good time. As you know, I was in court earlier this year. Uh, I got accused of wasting my time. I don't know how the university accessed that information. Well, I didn't know. I know now how they got access to the information. It was because Alice contacted them. Despite the charges being dropped, I've had no apology from UCLan. Alice never told me that any of that was going on. She didn't even mention it to me. And I brought up yesterday the email and I thought, oh, you had a response. I said, no. Checked it on the train. I was mad. I was honestly mad. And I'm going to call Serenity because Serenity will back me up with what I'm saying because Serenity is the one person I trust. I would call serenity in any situation yeah it really fucked me up yesterday it fucked me up normally i get very upset and very emotional with things i was wholeheartedly angry anger is not an emotion i feel very often this situation did cause me a lot of anger because not only did she get me essentially kicked out of you clan for something that didn't happen she didn't even tell me so you know what to her i am gonna cut her out of my life i've blocked her number i've blocked her on facebook i don't want any contact with her especially after that and i'm gonna insert the email now i am 
adding this clip in a day later because you couldn't hear me when I was on the train. So emotionally drained when I got in. I broke down crying on the underground because I'm so sick of being fucked with and fucked about with. And like, I'm gonna have to get my medication increased today because my hands pain is so bad. And my trust in everyone's just fucking out the window because of her, because of what she's done to me again. And I'm. Like I said, I'm just at the point now where I'm so sick of being fucked with. Normally, I try and keep this channel positive on the whole, but I'm also real with you guys, and this is a real situation, it's really happening. At UCAN, I had one friend. So yeah, no, I know exactly who it was and why it happened. And like I said, I don't even normally feel anger towards people or anything. I'm not a violent person, not an angry person. I was genuinely angry and honestly if i had read that email when i'd been here for that i would have got up and left because there are some things i can get over some things i can, can figure this is not one of those things this fucked with my life this has cost me over sixty thousand pound in student loan because i've had to restart a degree because of this do you know what i don't actually have much to say other than be very careful with who you trust and if you think something's going on it's probably right do you know what my trust in people had started to get really good and now it's just out the window um i did tweet yesterday i was very like i said i was very angry yesterday i was trying to edit this video on the train yesterday and i just couldn't because i was so angry originally i had a lot of issues being in preston and a lot of things about anxiety and i was very happy to go and see alice right it was it was nice to see her and then i read that email and i was like she lied to my face like she knew she did that she knew she was the reason and i spoke i spoke to her about this yesterday literally spoke to her about it and she didn't even mention it if she'd have mentioned it i'd have a very different outlook on it but it's literally fucked up my life and it's literally fucked with everything and to her why just fucking why that's fucking wrong unless i love that i can deal with it but to alice honestly why in fairness it doesn't surprise me is that bad it doesn't surprise me that she was the reason because she hangs around with a load of people who slag me off constantly so you know what it doesn't surprise me and looking at it that's a really bad mistake to make hanging around with someone who is friends with people who slag you off that being said i hope you're doing amazing and like I said, links are always in the description down below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button because I make new videos pretty much every day. Live streams are every Monday and occasionally on weekends. Don't mind, I'll see you guys later. Peace. That was the end bit again. I need to go back. Oh, I didn't miss it. Oh. Right, me and Serenity are on the phone and I'm going to quickly talk about how much this fucked me over yesterday. So, child, yeah. how much do you think it fucked me over last night? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say about a 16. Yeah, I was emotional. I kept I kept hanging up, get trying to get comfortable and then calling you again. It's the fact that if she didn't do what she did, you wouldn't have turned, like, you, would, you wouldn't have turned around and had the majority of the issues you've had over the past couple of years because that because that that's how badly it was all fucking with you she was fucking with you because where she got the police involved it made things worse i don't even know what to think i'm still massively it, fucked over by it like it's still like it's literally have you ever heard me that like angry no you are proper pissed off oh yeah like when I read you that email when I got on the train, yeah. what was your first response? What was your first reaction? Oh, oh my first reaction was, was, and I literally said this to you, um, kind of glad for your sake that uh, you weren't with her when you found out. I'm going to stop the recording, but um, Serenity's links will be in the description. Thank you for being a supportive friend, girlfriend. You know what I mean. Out. Yeah. You know what I mean. You're tired. No. Angry. Yeah, and depressed. Upset. And, yeah. Bye camera. By the way, Alice is a cunt.